Full Armor Kids Online, what's up? We are back. I'm Mike, and this week we're starting a brand new series called Generosity. The point this week is serve God with your money. What does that mean? Well, we're going to find out shortly. But first, we need to get out of our chairs, stand up, get your hands up, prepare your voice, and let's get down to some praise and worship. Let's go. day I realized it's been two years since I first stepped foot in Connect. Back then I had no idea I would get to work here and help kids like you follow Jesus. I was just a girl who wanted to spend $50 on 200 ring pops. <laughs> it isn't always easy to know how to spend your money wisely. Let's watch what I learned together. are gonna be surprised. Viola! Oh my. Wow. What do you think? Wow, you painted that. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been working with Vincent from the Whatnots group. It's pretty good, huh? Never seen anything like it. The eyes really follow you around the room. Eyes? No, no, no. There are no eyes. Can't you tell what it is? Of course. It's a... bowl of fruit? It's a dog driving a station wagon. Oh, I know. It's a pack of hungry wolves eating a bowl of spaghetti. Spaghetti? What? No. We give up. What is it, Rodney? <laughs> well... Obviously, it's, it's a... Huh. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm 
Harper, and this is the time that we learned how to be wise with money. Hi, I'm looking for some help. You've come to the right place. I'm Harper. My name is Jaden. And I'm Dot. How can we help you, Jaden? Okay, well you see, I just got an early Christmas present from my grandmother. $50. That's a lot of money. Which is why I was so excited to get it. You see, I really love ring pops and they only cost 25 cents at the store. So with 50 bucks, I could get 200 ring pops. That's a lot of ring pops. I know, right? But my grandma made me promise to be wise with my money. Yeah, well, spending your money on 200 ring pops probably isn't the wisest choice. Yeah, but what is the wise thing to do? My sister says that money is the root of all evil. And my friend Kyle thinks I should spend my money on one big thing, the latest video game, Super Odyssey Adventure 7. But if I buy that, I won't have any money left. I mean, I have all this money, but what to do with it? You're just carrying it around with you? You gotta keep it safe, man. Well, the first thing we can tell you is that money isn't the root of all evil. It's not? No, in the Bible, it says that the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, but that's very different. How so? Some people love money. Everything they do is to make more of it, have more of it, keep more of it. They end up becoming a servant to their own money. But I don't wanna serve money. I wanna serve God. Actually, you can serve God with your money. Just like we serve God with our talents and time, you can serve God with your money too. Oh, hi Vincent. How are things in the Whatnots group? Oh, magnifique. Great, what, what brings you up to the observatory? This tree, she calls to me, she says to me, make me beautiful, so I must go. Wow. Well, uh, don't let me interrupt. I'm just gonna be here looking for something. Oh, oh, oh Rodney, no, 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 no. This, this will not do. What will not do? This ensemble. Oh, uh, what's an ensemble? This clothes, they, they will not do. They, uh, no, no. Oh, you mean my outfit? Yes. It, it is all right, but it does not match the ribbon around your finger. Uh, the ribbon must go. Oh, the ribbon's actually not part of my outfit. It's a reminder. Pardon? Well, every year I get Vanessa a gift for Christmas, and every year she finds it early. So this year, I decided to hide it in a super secret place so she wouldn't be able to find it, so that no one would be able to find it. And I put this ribbon around my Just finger. To help you remember where you put it? Yes! This is genius. Thanks. There's just one problem. What is that? Well, it didn't work, and I have no idea where I put it. Okay, so how can I be wise with my money? I think you should save it and keep it for a rainy day. But that rainy day may never come. Spend the money now on something nice for yourself. But Dot, since we're showing Jaden how to serve God with your money, doesn't it make more sense to put it in a bank where the money will grow? She could buy a Bible with the money or worship music. Okay, okay, so should I save it or spend it? Save, save it. No, 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 stop. You're confusing the girl. You must listen to Vincent. Vincent will tell you what to do. Okay, great. Who's Vincent? Oh, why moi, of course. Money is very valuable, no? Sure. But money cannot tell us what to do. We must tell money what to do. We can serve God with our money. We save some, we spend some, and we can give some. Okay, now it's getting complicated. No, 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 it is simple. I'll show you, here. Right there. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. Is alive. Hey, 
Did you just have a birthday? Did you get some gifts? How about some money? About a hundred dollars? Oh, uh, please don't. I guess we're writing on the screen there. So there's that hundred dollars we were talking about. Whoops. Too many zeros. Far too many zeros there. That should just be a one and two zeros for a hundred. Okay, wait. Come back. I'm sorry. Do you still have that marker? You could help me teach how we can honor God with the money that we get or earn. All we have to remember is give, save, spend. If we have $100, the first thing we're going to do is give by taking out a tithe. Tithe is another word for 10%. The Bible tells us in Proverbs that tithing is something we should do to give back to God part of what he's given us. So 10% of $100 is... Don't worry about the math. It's $10. Whenever we get or earn money, we'll be wise and give 10% to the church so they can use those resources to keep helping people. Exactly. I like your draw. Well, hold on. We're not finished. Welcome back. We can't forget about save. Next, we'll take some money and we'll save it. The Bible tells us to be wise with the money God gives us. Saving some of our money for the future is smart. We'll put some of our money aside for a rainy day. That's just another way of saying putting money aside for emergencies. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend it on a rainy day. What are you, uh... Oh, I see. Is that a cloud and rain? Yeah. A lightning bolt. Two lightning bolts. Three bolts. Uh, That's too much lightning. You're losing control here. Okay. Are you all right? Ready for the last one? Good. Now we can talk about spend. Once we give our tithe and we put some money aside, the rest of the money is ours to spend. But we shouldn't be unwise with our spending money. Before you spend your money, stop and think. Do you want your money to go or do you want your money to grow? So you could buy a bunch of candy. Does that seem wise? You could spend some of it on candy and maybe your brother's birthday present and maybe save the rest for later. Being wise with the money that we have is a great way to honor God. Thanks for helping me out. And don't forget to give, save, spend. Wow, those give, save, spend jars are really neat. I learned that we shouldn't just spend and save our money. We need to give. Yeah, that's all great, but this money is really burning a hole in my pocket. And besides, I don't have any jars like that. One of us can help you make some of those give, save, spend jars. No, 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 darling. I am so busy, I cannot help you make your jars. Oh, I wasn't really asking you. Fine. Come with me to see what nest room. I will help you make your jaws magnifique. Okay. Looking for something, Rodney? Yeah, I'm looking for Vanessa's Christmas gift. You put it in one of those compartments? Maybe. I tied this ribbon around my finger to remind me of where I hid it. This ribbon's not doing its job. I'll help you look. Thanks, Dot. I know how frustrating it can be to lose a gift. Two years ago, I hid a birthday present for Mike somewhere in HQ. I never did find it. Don't tell me that. I spent a whole day turning this place upside down. No sign of the gift. What was the gift? There's this company that creates specialty candy. I had them make a box of gummies in the shape of Mike's face. Oh my. Well, maybe it's not a bad thing that those disappeared. Oh, this is so much fun. Your jars look great, Jaden. Thank you. Your jars look great too, Harper. Thank you. They're simple, but it works. Absolutely. Simple is best. Can we see your jars, Vincent? But of course. Wow, yours looks so nice and fancy. Oui, but what is most important is that we are using our jars to serve God with our money. You're right, Vincent. But of course. We can serve God with our money because it was his to begin with, whether it's a lot or not much. He's the one who really takes care of us. Like it says in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24. You say it like this. Matthew 6, 24. Matthew 6, 24. 
You can't serve God and money at the same time. You can't serve God and money at the same time. We. Oui. When we choose to give, save, and spend, we are choosing to love God more than loving money. That's how I can keep my promise to my grandma and be wise with my money. Vincent, can I ask you a question about your containers? But of course. Okay, now they are completely beautiful, but I noticed you only put G, S, and S on the jars. They are perfect in their simplicity. They need nothing else? Yeah, but si since both save and spin both start with S, how can you tell which jar is which? It is simple. You just have to... Oh. Oh no! <laughs> I give up. We're not gonna find that gift. We can't give up. I've been tearing this place apart. The only place I didn't look was the basement because it's dark. I checked the basement. No sign of it. The key is that ribbon on your finger. If you can just remember what it means, we'll find the gift. Think, Rodney. Okay. I picked this ribbon because it's red. And Vanessa likes the color red. So I was gonna use this ribbon to wrap her gift after I bought her a present. So this ribbon is to remind me to buy her a gift. So we've been looking all day for a gift that's not even here? Pretty much. Come on, man. Well, Jaden, we hope we helped you understand money a little bit better today. Absolutely. Now I know I can serve God with my money. And knowing it's God who takes care of me, I can be generous with my money and give. And it's also important to save some of your money. And it's okay to spend a little too. You can treat yourself to a couple of ring pops. <laughs> These give, save, spin jars will be a great reminder of that. Thank you so much, Connect HQ, for showing me how I can be wise with my money. You're welcome. Now, let us help you with these jars. Yeah. Spend is mine. Minus save. Guess I am give. Happy birthday, Mike, from Dot. Oh, these are those old stale candies with Mike's face on it. Vanessa likes candy. I'm Harper. And I'm Dot. Money is a scary subject. Some people worry about not having enough, and others, they work really hard to keep all the money they have. These people will never be happy because they're serving money instead of God. Say this verse from Matthew with us. Matthew 6, 24. You can't serve God and money at the same time. Everything we have, including our money, comes from God. So it makes sense that we would worship God and want to serve Him. Money is a tool that we can use for different purposes. We can be generous and give our money to God and to those in need. We can save some of our money and we can even spend some with peace of mind. When Jaden came in today, she wanted to learn how to use her money wisely. She learned that it's possible to serve God with our money. And she was even able to make a set of those neat give, save, spend jars. Each of us have to decide if we are going to serve money or serve God. Serving money leads to greediness, worry, and fear. Serving God leads to generosity, peace, and thankfulness. Don't be afraid of money, but serve God with your money, remembering that it is God who takes care of you. And as always, remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. What a great video. That's a great reminder. I love how they had those three jars, the give, save and spend jar. Even as an adult, that's really good advice. What was our point again this week? Oh yeah, serve God with your money. I hope you know what that means now, but even beyond that, I hope you use it. 
Let's go ahead and say our verse together. It's in Matthew. All right, it's Matthew 6, 24. You can't serve God and money at the same time. What does that mean to you? Let's go ahead and do our discussion questions together. So go ahead and find an adult and sit down together. Here we go, number one. How do you think a person acts when they're serving money instead of God? Number two, how do you think a person acts when they're serving God instead of money? Number three, what do you think is good about giving a tithe of your money to God before you spend it? And number four, are you best at giving, saving, or spending your money? Well, thank you guys so much for joining us online, and we hope to see you again, whether it's online or in person. And remember to give, save, and spend. And also, Jesus loves you no matter what. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.